Okay, so let's begin by trimming this outer border here. I need to trim the little salvage area here. Makes it easier. All right, so then let's begin by trimming. I always trim this little outer edge, kind of line it up to my little cutting blade side. Make sure it's right. And I'm left with this here. And then I go in and Trim because I know we're going to be using that, and I want to keep them all kind of fairly the same. This little cutter I mean it has this little moment where it kind of acts a little funky but the fact that I can align and cut and trim where I want to trim and align makes it so much easy for trimming so I trim all these up but I just wanted to go again and show you how to make sure you snip right where you need to snip and this one, we're always cutting it at four and five eighths. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this at four and five eighths. And that's just a little line after the half inch. Okay, so we'll use that and don't forget, your matting for this is going to be four and a half by four and seven eighths, okay? So that mats to that, four and a half by four and seven eighths, and it mats just like so. So we'll go ahead and put that aside. We have these that goes on to the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. They match up with that. Okay, so we'll put those two aside and let's trim our little piece here. And I just kind of line it up. Off. And we're gonna trim this one. April showers bring me flowers, and April showers brought me two beautiful daughters. Okay, so here it is. It is six inches wide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it down to five and three quarters and trim on this side, five and three quarters. Take that piece and put it aside. Flip it to the other side. Now we're going to go to five and a half. From this point on, we're going to flip it again, and we're just going to go by the eighth. So now we're going to go in at five and three eighths. Snip that eighth off. Flip it around again. Go at five and two eighths, which is like five and a quarter actually. And then flip it again and go at five and one eighth. And finally, we're flipping it again and going five inches. And that'll give us perfectly five inch all the way around. It should be a total of five inches. And if you double check, see, five inches, flip it this way, five inches, and it's perfectly aligned, okay? One and one. All right, so that gets matted into our piece that is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And remember that we are um, 
leaving a pocket. So once you put this on, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Let's move all this side stuff aside because I think for right this second we are done with cutting for at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and ma blew this in. Cleaned up my desk and I took my tape runner out of the desk. Use what we have here, which is what I had. All right, so April showers bring May flowers. It's so pretty. And I'll drop it in, center it in, just like so. Grab my bone folder, holding it in place. Burnish it. Shifted. I just want to make sure it's all nice and burnish. If you have any seepage, what I like to do is use my rubber eraser and it comes off like easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, so we go. That's that. And then we'll grab our little pockets member. We have three and one eighth by five and a quarter and one and seven eighth by five and a quarter. And we need to make the decorative, cut the decorative piece that we're gonna use for that. And we're gonna go with, let's trim this salvage edge first of all. That's very important. Makes it easier. showers bring May flowers how funny is that I'll have to laugh at that because you know my nickname is May <laughs> so we're gonna trim because I like that saying so we're gonna trim here at six and I'm gonna go right in the middle at six because so I'm not sure what recorded and what did not record <laughs> I this whole system of this 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 camera and Apple does not function right all right I don't know what you guys missed but we've trimmed up um, our paper. This is uh, five inches by five inches, and um, we have our pocket that we're working, and we have the back, which I'm going to use this one for the back here. So my April showers bring me flowers is going to go on the back there, and I've trimmed it at exactly six inches, and then I just kept going in to cut it to five. So that's going to be that one page. Now let's work on these little pieces here, which is for the pocket. And I kind of like the, the print temps. And so we're going to cut this one at five, four and a half. Sorry, this is for this. And we're going to cut it at two and seven eighth by five inches one piece and one and five eighth by five inches. So let's go and do the two and seven eighth. Got to keep looking up because I do not know. And see but if I do that, the cutting, no, oh, that doesn't matter. All right, and then we're gonna go at five inches and it should be at five right now, and it is. Just double checking daffodils. Okay, so that's gonna go for here, and we can put something pretty, um, probably like this up here. We can do something like that up there. Um, and then for the bottom pocket, how the hell that would work? No, I like this one. For the bottom, we're gonna go with this one here, and we're gonna go at one and five eighth by five inches. by five inches and it says earth laughs in flowers and that's so true because my daughters are always laughing always giggling always up to something okay it's always a joy all right so use this because not going to get up to get my tape runner. 
that I've left on another desk. Well, not in another desk. I left them in the counter, and I don't want to go to the front of the counter right now. All right, so we'll line up there. We've got lots of little things that we can use to embellish that. I like the, the little postage stamp, so we're probably going to use that. So let's go ahead and trim this because we're going to need that. And then we can use those little phrases, springtime, Easter, greetings, to embellish that. All right. I just like to cut it all up. Okay. So then we have that. Let's see this one. It's getting a little bit easier right i think it's kind of repetitive but it's a good repetitive right okay and again we're going to put it on here and this piece for the pocket any blue seepage and you already know the drill okay so we have that and then we can take um, we're gonna do this one over here we can cut up to four of the stamps and again a repetitive little thing a little bit on each side because we want to add at least a little bit of what's wrong one? another little pocket or pull or something you know here, just like that make sure it's even a stickler about things being even Hold it in place so that you know it's not moving and then burnish we've got this one glued down we have that one glued down and then what we can do is we can snip these off put some little dimensionals in the back dimensional foam tape um, we have April showers oh, we have to put we definitely have to put April in here because you know girls are April babies so we go here mm -hmm. and let's see welcome to spring and I could probably get away with trimming so we're not covering all of this Let's trim some of this off. I do want the welcome to spring, but I'm not too keen about the blue. And the thing about this trimmer is that I have nowhere to grip it. I need like um, painter's tape hold it down in place but that requires me getting up and we're not getting up at the moment but we did a good job at trimming it up okay so we know that is five inches so let's go ahead and cut this five inches as we know oh and that was perfect because we still have welcome to spring mm -hmm. so we'll put that there so it looks like the daffodil bu bulbs, bulbs, yeah. And we welcome two precious girls in spring. My oldest and my youngest.
I think that'll do. All right, so let's see what we have over here. Let's grab all this stuff and throw it in our basket. Move this over here. That's gonna go here, right? have to keep looking guys at that screen because it's taking me for a ride when I'm thinking I'm recording and then I look up and it's not recording it's like oh gosh you know the struggle is real when you have issues with I don't know what's allergies or what <clears throat> but then you have that's not really and I'm just making sure we get those edges really good okay it's really really important make your stuff look good okay and then we'll put this one down And, you know, towards the end, we'll do the decorating part where we'll put laces and little bows and flowers, you know, this pretty stuff we all like to put in our journals and albums. Um, and that's just sitting right on top of that. Not Just here's the pocket right here. See that? And so it just kind of lines up and you flush it against, make sure it's all perfectly aligned so nothing is one's over here and you know just make sure it's all perfectly aligned it's really important as we put more stuff in it makes it a little bit more harder to get your pages in but just work through it. Just work through it. You know, a little bit of glue seep is there and I don't want that to stick so I'm going to make sure I nip it in the bud while I can. Because that's the last thing we want is for after we've worked so hard to have something it's stuck, right? Okay, and then we'll put our April over here, like so. Oh, no, we're doing it sideways. Remember, sideways, unless you want it, of course, like that. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to turn it. I know that my April is going to be there, and I'm doing a U, so I'm just going to put my glue all around this edge here, make a little U. And I, I know that wherever I hold, it's not going to have glue. So then we're going to touch it like so. And let's try to hold it into place. come back like I said I repeat myself a lot but I always come back and I like to clean up all the glue web so towards the end as we're, we're decorating I will make sure that all my little glue webs or my glue gummies are removed off okay it's very important that you make it nice and clean okay so there we go and I just use a makeup brush just to dust off 
All right, so we have April there, and we can, you know, put some April showers, or even here. I think I like that. I went there you know yeah I like that okay, that'll work. I'm gonna use it right on those two middle stamps and it's just the mint holding it with dimensions right there Okay. And then we have this page here that we're going to mount this one here. This is a reason why I like my fabric tuck so much because it makes it so much easy to clean up any seepage from your glue and I can always clean my fingers as I go along. Okay, so right. It's gonna go on there. And again, I'm gonna hold just because future for reference. I don't know in the future I want to put some pictures tucked behind this I'm gonna make a pocket so right where my pockets gonna go so this is gonna go like so up here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it like that where I'm know that the pockets gonna go in and I'm gonna hold it flip it that way that way I know no glue where my fingers are flip it back back this way I have all these little I think they're in the way. All right, so let's put it in. I need to turn it in way. Right, so that's what we have, and then let's see that over here. Then we have these that we're gonna mount on here. And these are from your collection. So pretty 
And look, two little girls, one light skin, one darker skin. And that's just how my girls are. One's lighter than the other. Carla's light. Bonnie's a little dark because she looks just like me. Um, and it's so funny. Two little girls. Easter greetings. Yes. Such a pretty collection. come back in and let's do this one and if I wanted I could add a little belly belly band because we have extra paper left over and we could do that if you have extra pieces of scraps make belly bands we'll pull out Little tuck spots, the more little pockets and tuck spots you have, the more journaling space you have created. Okay. All right, so that is April, and I think what I'm going to do is I think, um. This one does have a tag. I don't know where the tag went with that one. There is a tag for that, so I'm not sure where it went. So what we can do is we can tuck this one in, because I don't know where the tag went. I'm sure it's somewhere here. We can tuck that one in just to give it a different feel in there. So that'll go in there like so. And then we have all these little pieces that we can cut. We also have a chipboard that came with this set and your stickers, so don't forget about using those when you're decorating as well. You haven't seen me use those as much, but we will once we have everything, all the pages covered, all the pieces cut, we'll use some of those. Some of you got flowers and that's something that, that's the last thing that we're going to be worried about, you know? Here again, we can stick this one here, like so, and we can make a little belly band with some of the extra. We had some extras here, so I can make a little belly band out of that. Remember, I said we can use this, make sure we wrap it around really good. Let's do that. So, this one's one and a half by 12. And we're going to go ahead and that way we have that. So let's go ahead and put that there like so. Again, this one was one and a half by, the other one was a little tight, so just make sure you kind of measure it in. Um, so I think I scored it at five and a half the first score, and then just fold the other piece so that at least you have a little bit of a, a nice tightness in that belly band. But not too tight where you can't you know slide it up and down so ideally what you want to do is make sure it's tight enough 
but not too tight. So we have some of this left over, and I know that that's um, one and a half inches wide, but we'll double check. Yeah, one and a half. I am going to leave a little bit more, so I'm going to make it just one and. So it's one and a half. We're gonna do one and three eighth with one and three eighth. Okay. And so we said for the belly band, you're gonna cut your cardstock. You can do uh, one and three eighth or you can cut two pieces that are one and three eighth by five and one quarter. I'm going to go ahead and do the two pieces at five and one quarter. One. So then this piece will go right there like so. And then the other piece will go on the opposite side. Side if we want to. Well, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like this side better with the flowers. I think that's prettier. And we'll do it on the other side probably. flower side looks better here. And that way you have all these little extra spots to tuck in. And she can even go there. And then see what's in our chipboard pieces. We're forgetting about those guys. I'm sure we have something pretty for April. And I have something to celebrate. So I do like to celebrate because it was definitely something to celebrate and I could put probably this one. I'm gonna back it up with some of this here and then I'll fussy cut around it. quiet here, but I'm just fussy cutting. Okay. So 
I kind of backed that up. And let's put this one down. Let's see stuff out of the way. <clears throat> and in this one here with something to celebrate. Again, I did it one and three eighths. By five and a quarter. I did two for this belly band. And the belly band is one and a half by twelve, scored at five and a half, and then just try to fold it over so that you got a good fitting. That's very important. Okay. And you can also do magnetics on your belly bands if you want. You can put a, a ribbon also if you want. You know, it's entirely up to you if you don't want to cut print paper. Okay, so I think that'll look cute just like, whoops, you're not seeing. For heaven's sake, you're not speaking to me. So let's do it this way. And I know that the lighting here is not the best, and I apologize in advance. It's not good lighting right now. We have the light from the window, kind of giving a glare here. So I'm going to turn this way so I make sure that it's center. That's very important. both sides and let's put these are from the chipboard collection so we can put some of these spring times on as well do that let's do have a happy day or Easter although it looks like she's got an Easter dress on so let's I, I remember putting little pretty dresses on my girls when they were little um, they loved having pretty dresses now not so much but they love dresses when they were little. Let's go ahead and So yeah, we decided over here. It was about to go in the wrong direction. So that's gonna go right there. Some dimensions. And this one can go here. We have leftovers and we can make another one. So I'm gonna probably use this one here for leftovers for a four by four with the four and a quarter and a four and a quarter so that we can insert it on these little side pockets. So that's what we'll do there. Here we'll add that there. And then let's put that here. We 
one time. Hello, and we can cut this one off. Let's cut this one off. Uh, you heard the, the bell. The it's not really a church, it's the museum. It's always ringing their bell. So we can tuck in here. On, right on that little journaling card that we did for April. Tiny journaling card. You know, it's just chipboard. And so then we have these are little extra pieces that are left over. Um, I, can put this one. I can make another one. Let's cut this one down to four inches by four inches and make another little. I try to go a little bit at a time and then finally at four inches four inch wide by four inches so I'm going to go at five let's see four yeah I'm going to go probably about four and a half so that I can trim and have enough Otherwise, I will trim too much, so I'm going to go four and a half. Now I'm going to cut four. It gives me a nice little border. Okay. And then I'm going to take the four and a quarter by four and a quarter and mat that on like that. Like I said, you can make little cards. And I'm just doing it really basic for you guys, but you guys can really go all out with all the little extras that are left over from these on this kit. some foam tape there and let's see if I 
Thank you. Thank you. Need something with color. little Easter sign kind of holds it. In. See that? Since I put the little dimensional here, I can put that there and it kind of holds it in place there. And we can definitely put springtime here. And again, I'm going to use some foam tape. greens let's see this can be fussy cut so we can fussy cut these out I'm going to do all three. I think this is a very beautiful kit. I love it. Um, hope you guys are liking it and we'll be more than happy to bring on more of the Graphic 45 kits if you guys are interested in these type of kits. Um, I know the Alice in Wonderland or the Alice Tea Party is another pretty one that they have. We'll go ahead and use the little foam dots that we have available in our store. I'm going to use the bigger circle ones though because they come in two sizes. I'm going to use the bigger dots. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. So, even if we wanted, um, let's see, if I wanted to put one on each side, I could, like that, I think that'd be cute, so I might do that, let's secure it with a little bit of glue. I know it had an adhesive, but we're just being cautious. On that side. Looks like little flowers. And one on this side. the last one let's see what can we oh we could put one here that'd be pretty right there or 
they stick to you. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Goes there. She'll go in here. We can do that or save it for something else. We'll save for something else. Okay, so now we're moving on to May. And I have a brother born in May. Um, and so next is May. So get out your May 12 by 12 sheets of paper. You should have two. And we'll be back for that part of the video.